time I'm going ice fishing. I'm heading up to my favorite neck of the woods, uh, up in uh, north of Webwood. And I'm actually going to be planning to stay anyway. We'll see how it works out. I'm planning to stay at the same lake that I stayed last summer um, when I was uh, on lakes, on Cinnaminda Lake. So I had already been out there this year. Um, and so I, I already set up the, the, um, the poles for my truck or for my truck, pardon me, for my tent, the poles for my tent. And so it should be a quick setup. Of course we have crappy weather. Um, but that's all right. I love the snow and uh, this is an ice fishing trip. And uh, we got a lot of snow in South Central Ontario, but uh, when I was up north, uh, there wasn't a heck of a lot of snow. And I was up there in January. So I'll be interested to see uh, if, uh, if they got anywhere near as much as uh, you can see that we have here. Uh, just uh, tons of it, probably three feet on the ground around Huntsville area. So, um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Never the safest thing to be <laughs> filming while I'm driving, but that's okay. So I'm going up with my snowmobile and my um, canvas hot tent. And um, so I'm not exactly roughing it. Um, I do plan on uh, doing some fishing at some different lakes and I'm lucky enough to have a snowmobile that's good in deep snow so I can um, I can feel fairly confident and it's designed to pull weight it's a it's a Scandic so it's um, I yeah I'm really looking forward to getting up there and uh, doing a little bit more exploring than I normally do and uh, doing some fishing for sure always and um, yeah man I think it's gonna be cool it's a beautiful day aside from the snow um, it doesn't look like it's gonna be that cold up there it looks like it's gonna be um, fairly warm in fact I might see some nights uh, are, you know close to minus 20 but daytime highs of like well, on one day uh, minus two uh, so where I go it's always a couple degrees colder but again we'll see how the weather ends up shaking out it doesn't seem that it, it seems like it's fairly difficult to predict it now with the changes in our climate especially in certain areas some areas no but some areas I find the the forecast can miss the mark a fair amount so going in prepared for everything I mean the, the setup I have can ha handle very very cold uh, yeah looking forward to it process to get everything ready um, and to get out of town um, where I'm staying where I'm living I can't I don't have space for my snowmobile and my and a trailer and all of that business so I uh, I keep it at my parents place in Huntsville I live in Barrie and uh, and so you know got to go in first thing in the morning go get the trailer hooked up get the sled on and then, you know, there's always a couple things to pick up and then the drive all the way up uh, takes a long time. And um, so it looks like it's going to be dark when I'm trying to set up in there. It's either that or I stay. If it was really cold, which it's not right now, it's like minus one, it's terrible. If it was really cold, then I would, I would just put my sleeping bag in the back of the truck and just sleep in the box because it's it's such a warm uh, it's such a warm uh, sleeping bag that I can I can sleep outside with nothing no heat or anything with 20 below no problem you know so um, 
but it's too warm and it could get my sleeping bag wet which would be bad um, and it's gonna get colder oh, man uh, anyway it looks like I'm it looks like I'm gonna have to ride in and set up everything in the dark so that'll be a bit of a task and I'm hoping that my poles are still up in the uh, that where I left them so that all I have to do is hang my tent on it and tie it up and that's that um, we shall see Is what it is. Um, firewood's also an issue. <laughs> I don't have any. I, uh, so there it is. But I don't need this, the firewood tonight. So I think what I might do is just set it up and set up my cot and everything, and just sleep the night and then go and get some wood in the morning. So that's probably what I'll do. Because I still have about. I don't know, it usually takes about an hour or so to get up that road, at least. So, because uh, it's a it's a logging road, it's a dirt road. So that'll be the deal there, I'm sure. Uh, I'm hoping that uh, there's enough snow and it's all good, that there's no complications, otherwise it's going to be a long night. But that's cool, it's all good when you have the right stuff, you know. And that's the thing, it takes a heck of a lot longer when you're going with all the luxuries that I'm going with, the cooler and, you know, cod, hot tent and all of that stuff. It's all very nice, very cushy. It's okay, I dig it. So yeah, here we go, here we go. Looks like there's enough snow. Definitely a heck of a lot more than before. So I should have a bit more of a normal snow to set up in. It's always nice when you finally get on the road. Whatever that road is, it's always awesome. see me it's still darker than I thought um, so I slept I can't see it in my sleeping bag uh, and I just put the tarp up uh, I can't see any of that well here we are on Cinnaminda Lake. I arrived last night a little bit later than I planned. And so, I, here's my sled, came in last night. And then I decided to not set up last night. I just decided to sleep here. I put my cot in here. I just put up my, because uh, my frame was still up and the last time I set up, I just put up my tarp. And uh, put my, my cot in there. I've taken my sleeping bag off now and I just slept here last night. It's not that cold. You know, 
it's like minus three kind of thing so it worked it worked i was totally warm and uh yeah it worked but now i'm gonna set up my tent uh i think uh I'll wait a little bit until it's a bit lighter out, but yeah, I'll set up my tent and uh, we'll go from there. I just covered everything up again. And I came out and last night because how do you keep your minnows alive? Well, drill the hole, cut out a little reservoir with my axe. <clears throat> Maybe I'll shoot that and show you again. But last night, I cut out, you can see that, that I cut deeper around and then punched a hole through. And there's my minnows. And they'll be fine in here. I've stayed when it's very, very cold. And a fishing spot. Though Cinnamon Day isn't awesome. But it sure is a beautiful lake to stay on. And I'm within range of a number of lakes. And the sublime silence of the north in the winter. If that's what you're into. I got a fair amount of work today. 